So I've just finished making this. This is Gallagher. Uh, no, it isn't. It's uh, Galino, Galagino, which is a project from Hackster.io by John Branham. Uh, it was originally by by uh, Tin, uh, Tin Till Harbaum, and it uh, has three games on it. it has uh, Gallagher, Pac-Man, and Donkey Kong. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at it. It's a little arcade cabinet there's a coin ad there and there's the three games so LED marquee different colors you see it scrolling through the colors there uh, Let's see what it took to, to put this thing together. So uh, this is the stage I'm at at the moment. Uh, it kind of looks half finished or it looks finished really, but uh, it's just literally just the 3D printing side of things have been, has been done. It looks really great already. Is that focusing? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, I had to, unfortunately, I had to kind of redesign absolutely everything. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's what, kind of what you expect, really. People's printers are different. I've got the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. Uh, if you've got any kind of Bamboo Labs, I think you're going to have to redo pretty much everything because there's just not enough. These parts are still pretty tight, and uh, that's after sanding and redesigning every single part redesigned <laughs> to get it together but uh it doesn't matter it's all finished all this is sanded down because i'm only going to make one i want it to look uh, nice um i've done changed a few things just tiny little things like i wanted flush mounted screws original design didn't have that uh but yeah it looks good the um this is clear pet g for the marquee and it might actually be a bit too clear. I might have to end up putting some paper or something behind there because I think there's going to be too much LED light coming out of there. But yeah, it's, it, I'm happy with that. That's now done. And um, we're on to the actual fun part, the part that I kind of enjoy you know, more than anything, which is just the electronics. Um, so the original design was a two, two PCB design. And I just thought, yeah, that's going to cost extra money if I do two PCBs. So I just stuck them together, basically, and sent that off to JLB PCB. Uh, nothing's focusing very well. Um, and then used a craft knife to slice them. But uh, yeah, it's just two PCBs. And that's the control board underneath there. And then the main board at the bottom there. It's not... Uh, it's not battery operated or anything you just have to have it on the battery on the uh, on a five volt cable yeah so we're on to the uh, the fun part
So as you can see, uh, this thing is working now somewhere. And I had an absolute nightmare with the with the software. I've actually forgotten to solder the uh, the amp on at the moment. But uh, yeah, I had an absolute nightmare with the software, and uh, I, di I didn't think I was going to crack it because I'm not very good at software, and it always stumps me. Um, this is pretty much finished now. I've just got to get all the easy bits now. It's just the speaker, which I have somewhere. Um, Gonna use this one. It's just that'll probably do because it's just like blink blonk blink blonk. Uh, I mean I, that one's probably slightly better quality, but I don't know if it'll. It's worth putting it in there really. Uh, but anyway, horrible nightmare with the software. The screen wasn't working at all. I was getting uh, initially. I was just getting sort of rolling images and <laughs> and uh, yeah. The problem is. Let me show you the problem. Yeah, so the problem is uh, a couple of things that have to be changed in the config for this screen. I mean, this screen is just totally bog standard AliExpress screen, so I don't know why it didn't work um, off the bat. Uh, just in case anybody comes across this, you go into config. There's a couple of things you need to comment out, which uh, I did anyway. The vertical flip, I had to comment that out, and the driver was on the... Uh, ILI 9341 and strangely which is supposed to be the driver for the screen but it, I had to change it to the ST7789 so I commented that out as well so those two things were commented out uh, but then it still didn't work and the, the next stage took me probably a couple of hours to figure out which was uh, in the video CPP file there's a, there was something set in there, which means all the colours were inverted and I had to go and sort of find out what was going on there. So this is the code inside the file, uh, the video CPP, and it's, it's invert on. So it actually had inverted colours on for some bizarre reason. So I had to find out <laughs> how to turn that off. So luckily these were, I found these. Um, so it was on, it was on zero, point, uh, 0 times 21. I've changed that to 0 times 20 and that's it so all the uh, electronics are done now this pile is uh, is all finished uh, no no issues really I've, I've decided to go for the slightly better speaker i think it is worth it um there's not much difference in, in price actually i did actually have all these bits in the house apart from the esp32 and the pcb so it's quite lucky really i didn't uh, didn't really have to spend any money on this but even if you went, were working from scratch. Uh, it wouldn't be a very expensive project, maybe 15 to 20 pounds, I would say, around that mark. So yeah, let's just give it a go. Uh, the volume you can adjust, obviously not on the fly, but you can adjust here on the amp to get the level you want and then it's fixed. There's the marquee. Let's just go for uh, Donkey Kong. Add some credits. I like this coin, this coin button. It's quite cute, you know, a little extra there. You don't really need it, but uh, it's a nice touch. I obviously can't really play it like this, but. Pew, 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 pew. Am I up? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, whatever. So, yeah, just got to get it in the case. Uh, you know, various small screws. Just going to use these small screws on the, on the inner bits and then couple of these countersunk ones on the outer uh, here and here on the other case and then I'll uh, hot glue the speaker in place uh, pretty much finished everything's in there now 
I had to make a few adjustments, just tiny little stuff like the buttons weren't uh, were too big, so I just ground them down, sanding them down. I had to make this hole slightly bigger, so there's little bits you need to adjust. I also, it was too loud, so I turned it down. It's still pretty loud, but uh, I think it's about right. And then the other bit was, as I said, the marquee was a bit in your face, really. I mean, it could have turned the LEDs down, but I just decided to go for a, a little bit of paper in there, which does give it a nice effect. So I've got to get these sides on now. We'll get this side on and then throw a couple of screws in there. So it's probably going to take me 10 minutes <laughs> of fiddling about. Yeah, so I'm very happy with this. It turned out well and... Uh, not well not expensive for me at all because I had most of the parts already but uh, a little bit time consuming with having to read all the uh, STL files and the problem with the the problems I had with the software but you know it turned out turned out well so this is the basically if you do the hackster IO project this is what you end up with if it works for you um, there are other projects so there's um, the original one now has six games Till Harbaum, Harbaum. Uh, he has six games on there, but I, I couldn't get his software to work anyway, so uh, I'm stuck with the three. Uh, there's another version as well where somebody has added battery power and an LED marquee, and I'll put a link to that, so there'll be three links in the description. Um, I didn't uh, find out about that until way, way too late, so I prefer obviously battery powered stuff myself, and the LED. Um, Marky is, is okay, it's nice, it looks good. Um, so yeah, great little project. Um, give it a go if you're into that sort of thing. And thanks for watching.